Last time on Couple. Meeting someone special in today's world, it's not easy. We make split-second decisions about love based on photos and a flick of the wrist. Welcome to Anguilla. <laughs> 12 beautiful and accomplished women came to paradise looking for the perfect man. Right off the bat, the first of many helicopters bringing single guys looking for love arrived. This is the most amazing way to have men literally brought to you. But I'm a streamer. Alex! Hello, hello! I haven't met someone that is great enough to make me someone better. Ah, I'm like blushing. <laughs> The women decide if he's worth their time. If they felt chemistry, they walked right. But if there was no spark, they walked left to wait for the next helicopter. Alex chose two interested women to take to the luxury villas where they tested their compatibility. Because he had to choose one woman to stay and one to send back. Lindsay, I'd like to see if you would want to come with me to the couple's villa. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Alex and Lindsay stayed at the villas to see if their initial spark would turn into something more real, leaving Brittany to go back to the bungalows and wait for the next guy. It's right there. Whose man is on that helicopter? Amari, welcome to Anguilla. I love a woman who holds me accountable, somebody that's going to say, hey, get it together. Hi. Hi. Amari. Talia, I am shaking like crazy. We had that instant connection. Without further ado. Omari, Talia, that just sounds like a good vibe to me. I would like to select. <sighs> Tonight, Omari picks two women to take to the villas, and another man is choppered in. He's a total hero. <gasps> How's everybody doing? Great. Good. Good. So obviously, uh, coming here today has been a great experience, meeting each and every one of you. All of you are extremely beautiful, intelligent. I wanted to base this decision strictly off of initial chemistry. So uh, without further ado, I would like to select. Alicia. Me? Oh. Yes. <laughs> the butterflies and you're goofy and you can't stop smiling. This is what I was waiting for. Um, so I was good. I'm definitely shocked. You know, I thought Amari and I had a connection. Bye. Bye. Nice lady. Next us. I'm still trying to like play back what just happened in my head. It's like I won a pageant and I wasn't expecting to win. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a gorgeous piece of man. He's dark hair, great smile, good personality. He has everything any woman would want. I feel like we're off to our honeymoon for three of us. <laughs> May the best woman win. Are you okay? I was surprised. I just felt like it was a big connection, you know? I was just really surprised by it, though. Our conversation was like, Bam, right away. And you start to second guess yourself. second guess yourself. Like, what is it about me that I didn't have that? Because, yeah. you know, I thought, you know, like. Yeah. I'm so emotional right now because it's kind of like I put myself out there again and I got hurt. I was so sure to walk right. And it's like, Talia, don't let that guard down too fast. Like, what did I do wrong? Is he not physically attracted to me? What is it about me that's not, like, appealing to others? Just remind yourself to trust that everything happens for a reason, right? I just want someone to love me unconditionally. I've always dreamed about it since I was a little girl. Like, what does that feel like? Like, looking at my parents, like, I want that. You're going to be fine. You're going to be good. <laughs> You're going to be good. Yeah. 
Sisters. Sisters. This place is dope already, you can tell. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> if you can't figure out how to fall in love here, I don't know. It's like paradise. Cheers, Cheers. you guys. We are so blessed. Nice, nice. Thanks for choosing us. <laughs> I want to eat. Oh, yeah. I'm starving. Well, welcome to our first meal at Thank the villas. You. I'm excited to have dinner with the girls. I want to get to know them a lot more on a personal level because I don't have a lot of time for me to make a valid decision on who I should choose. In Washington, we have like an entire like wine country, mm -hmm. like about an hour like from where I live. Let's do a toast. Toast to what? To new beginnings, to new friendships. Okay. <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> it's interesting to be on a date with another woman and a guy. We are here to find a man, and we need to be a little selfish. Wine's expensive. And I know it's like a really fancy thing to do to pair it with certain fish, but I'm not about it. I'm like, get me a root beer, <laughs> some pizza, we're yeah. good. Alicia is a pageant girl, but it is harder to compete for a man than it is a crown. I'm gonna try to eat all proper, like, start on the outside, bring fork on the outside, work your way in. That's how you do it. My personality, I'm very outgoing, I, I'm talkative, and she's kind of my opposite. She's boring. So what's your mom's specialty? She makes really good potato salad. Mm. What about your parents? Any signature dishes? Oh, of course, my dad, every Saturday morning. He would make me blueberry pancakes. Like Dad makes the best salsa. He's famous for his salsa at work. I honestly could jump up and scream. So what's like an average day for you when you're at home? Wait, where in LA did you say you live again? Westwood. Alicia has shown a different side of herself tonight. Not for me to judge, just to take note. Mm. Alicia and Dom are like, pretty opposite. Dominique is not a very extroverted person, so I really do feel like I know her a lot more better than you well, guys. I'm, yeah. I really want to know, like, you walked right. Yeah, but, but I... But why did you walk right? I walked right for Dominique because I kind of wanted to be her wingman. In the initial meeting when I met Omari, I knew that's it. That's the guy for Dominique. So I walked right at a support for Dominique. I'm like so confused about this. You walked right for Dominique. I'm like, I get really? It. I get it. I'm, I get like, it. And I get it. You can be confused smarter. about it. And guys, I don't need to justify myself yeah, to you. No, but I get it. The thing is, I, I know what I did for real in my heart. And it was, I, it, was, it was just to support a friend. How is that supportive? You're taking away another chance for one of the girls who are genuinely interested in Amari. Like, I just, I don't get it. It's not real. I just don't think it's genuine. You're going yes for yourself, not for anyone else. Lisa, you don't want to start something with me because I'm the realest person you've ever met. OK. okay? No, I, I don't feel yeah. it, but we can disagree on that, too. We could. Bye. Lisa and Michelle hate each other now. So there's that. Don't think it's real. Well, I completely understand where Michelle is coming from. It's two women being supportive of each other to find love. And it's hard enough in this world to make new female friends and connect with women. I don't need to justify myself no, to her. No, you don't. But the fact that she's kind of bringing it up, that I'm not real, is just like a I don't bitchy know what move. Her. I'm not the kind of person that holds grudges. So if she did want to show me in some way that she is more of a genuine person, but right now I feel like everything is kind of fake with her right now. I hate when people call me a liar, because the one thing I'm not it's a liar. And the one thing I am is super direct and honest about everything. I don't know why. I don't know why this happens to me with the girls. I have no idea. I, maybe I'm just too defensive. I don't know. Some people need to think before they talk, and that's why I walked away. I don't want to get into that girl drama. If I'm late and my car's getting towed, like, I just really hope that this really works for somebody in the end, and more people than just one couple. I wonder what it's going to be like with guys. Like, I have no idea how many guys there will be. I imagine it's going to be roughly the same number of girls, at least. Yeah, just how... to say, like, everyone that meets will actually connect and be a couple. Yeah, how does that happen? These questions and more after dinner. <laughs> <laughs>
Alex and I are doing great. He's such an amazing guy, and I'm so pleasantly surprised with the progress that we've made as a couple. It's rad. <laughs> Baby, I'm the one. Oh, we have people out there. Hey man, how's it going? How you doing, man? Alex. I'm Mari. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, buddy. You guys have you? fun? Oh my gosh, we've had We're the craziest the same, time. Right. Oh, this is our uh, this is our yeah, bed. Welcome to our oh. palette. Yeah. Oh, this one right here. Yeah. We're up there at the Jay-Z Beyonce suite. Oh my gosh, it's right next door. Hey, you guys have bro time? We're gonna have we're fun. gonna have go. Fun, fun. <laughs> Sit on these chairs or something. Yeah. Take a second to let it all sink in. Right. And with your two ladies. It seems like it might be a tough one. Well, it's a little night and day with them, man. Yeah. So I just gotta figure. Yeah, I mean, figure it you out. You know, I think I think you'll be cool. Just just really just really get down to the bottom of it. Dating two women is great. Obviously, you can't live that way. So I'll have to trim it down to one. Both of them right now have great qualities. I think it's a neck and neck race. Girls. Tell me about the day yesterday. Like, what happened? I don't know. It's like instant, like, butterflies and that chemistry. So now that you've had a little bit more time with him here, mm -hmm. how are you feeling? He has everything. He's funny. He's smart. He has a good job. He's perfect. I'm, look at him. He's a chiseled, yeah. beautiful piece of man. Like, He's come good. on. Yeah, it's been nice getting to know him a little bit more. Yes, because uh -huh. yes, I'm kind of looking for a serious relationship. For sure. I know you're like blushing. Yes. I see it. See, no, it's the sun. I'm hot. No, it's right. If Amari picks me, it's like, bam! I will like be over the moon. But I'm nervous because he seems amazing, and I feel like Alicia knows how awesome he is. He's so freaking cute. Like I could look at him all day. He's well, so I sweet. Say, I didn't come here to have fun or to make friends. I left my family and friends behind to come to Anguilla with hopes of finding someone that I'd love to date seriously and potentially lead into marriage. Good Good to to see you guys. Great to see you guys. Bye. He's definitely having a tough time Is deciding. He? Yeah, he's having a tough time. Aww. Hey. What's going on? I'm not feeling too hot today. I don't know, I'm having some kind of reaction to the island. <laughs> I had a confrontation with Lisa. So today, I've been taking more time apart from the girls. I need a minute for myself. You're heading to the beach? Heck We're yeah, getting <laughs> off the island. Lonely island. Michelle can think anything she wants about me. I don't care. I came here to find love. And Michelle is not my priority. Yesterday, emotions were high, so just to, you know, get out on the beach and swim in the ocean and just to act silly with the girls is exactly what I think we all needed. Ready? One, two, three! Right now, I have an enormous choice. I feel a little overwhelmed. I've dated women like Alicia my entire life, but I feel like Dom has so much to offer on a substance level, and you don't want to be in a place with someone and it's not a good fit because you're going to invest that time with them and you want it to be right. Hey. hey. So how y'all feeling? Are y'all nervous? Are y'all anxious? It's a hard choice. Alicia. I like everything about you. You are beautiful, you have a great smile, extremely bubbly. I like that, it's a lot of energy. It's great to be around people who are vibrant. And uh, Dom, I think you are intelligent. I think you are beautiful. I think you are endearing. You know what you want out of life and you are going to prepare yourself to get there in any way, shape or form. And for me, that is extremely important to have in a counterpart. So that's why I would like to invite you uh, to the next phase of this adventure. I'm so excited. After you. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
I hope that, you know, we can build off of the momentum that we had going today. I'm excited to see what tomorrow holds. This is cute. Looking good. So, we might have new roommates. Are we ready to share? <laughs> hey. Oh, oh! Oh! oh my god. The couple's villa is definitely different. Like we were actually like moving in. Now we get to that point where it's like time to build like a foundation and really see like if there really is anything there. Cheers guys. Cheers. Welcome. Congratulations. Yeah. I hope my feeling is like kind of the same as your feeling, but not. Uh... <laughs> Round three. Third time's the charm. After my experience of going to the villa, I have to admit I'm really nervous today, but maybe today's my day. It's exciting. They will be interesting. I don't know how I feel right now. You know, yesterday I felt a lot of emotions. But you put yourself out there, you got rejected. But today I'm feeling open to feel that feeling again. Like it's not gonna stop me from finding love. Like that's my mission. Did you see anything? Yeah. Oh, Lindsay posted. Let's take a selfie for her. Cute. Cute. Here it comes. Oh my god. Please let third time be the charm. Like, let this guy be right. Because I haven't had anyone so far. I'm just kind of optimistic and excited. And this could possibly be a guy that I've been waiting a very long time for. Oh, here he is. Coming. so nervous. I saw him for two seconds, and I immediately just freaked out. Ah! BT! How are you, man? Not bad, not bad. Look Beautiful like a rock day. star right now. I feel like a rock star right now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling the feels. Oh, girls. Alex, how are you feeling? I am 50 shades of freaking scared right now. All right, BT. Now, the ladies are gonna come up here to meet you, all right? You'll have a couple of minutes with each woman, and from there, we'll see if this instant chemistry thing is working. All right, what are you looking for? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for the one. Uh, I'm 30 years old, I've been in three long-term relationships, and I've uh, been single now for about three years, finding myself, and uh, just Got at it. that point where I'm ready. All right, we're looking for that love at first sight type feeling, yep. all right? Those that aren't interested, they're gonna bust the left and go back to the bungalows. Those that are interested are gonna meet you at the Tiki Bar, and then you'll get to select two that you get to know even better. Okay. okay. All right, you look sweet. You got the Bradley Cooper <laughs> beard going on right now. I feel like I seen you in the movie. All right. All right, man. Have some fun. Thank you. And I'll see you momentarily. The dating culture has significantly changed. As of now, it's just not meshing well with me. I want to meet new people and have that amazing experience where you meet a girl and you end up talking all night on the beach or something. You know, just something amazing, something real. <gasps> hey, how are you? Hi. BT. I'm Alex. Alex, great to meet you. I love you that too. name. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. OK, so I'm a radio personality, and I talk for a living, and I'm never at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. Well, why are you at a loss for words? You're gorgeous. Oh, get out of here. You're, You're literally gorgeous. exactly my type. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Yeah. Are you pretty conservative? Yeah, I am. I am. I was in the military six and a half years, uh, Army infantry. I was in Germany and then Baghdad. but. Yeah, all around conservative. Me yeah. too. <laughs> like hardcore. Well, that's the Midwest for you, you know? Right, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like Fox News every night. Like, I'm into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so nice to meet you. You too. I really, really hope that I get to see you. Yeah, you gotta walk. Start walking. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye. He's 
so gorgeous. He's exactly my type physically. He, like, is conservative. Like, I am the girl. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. BC? I hug. I'm, I feel like instant chemistry with Kristen. I'm just taken back by how beautiful she is. What do you do for work? I'm a photographer. Oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. How nice. about you? Uh, well, kind of a bunch of different things. I did six and a half years in the Army. Oh, my God. Yeah, ended up getting out, uh, started a nonprofit for other wow. transitioning veterans. And uh, I'm a romance novelist now. Really? Yeah, I just. <laughs> Wait a I, second. Where do you get your inspiration from? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a really vivid imagination. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was yeah, awesome it was to meet you. Yeah, it you. Thank you. Hopefully soon. Oh, oh. Take care. Kristen was beautiful, definitely, and a great conversation at that. I hope Kristen walks to the right. It does take a certain type of man to make me feel like a woman, and he is the kind of man that makes me feel that way. Ah. Oh. Thank you, beard gods. <laughs> yes. I like that reaction. Finally, a man with a beard. Well, I'm ready to have a pageant, because that's what I do. The Let's first do thing that comes to mind, Kobe or LeBron? LeBron. Summer or winter? Summer. Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. Cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. OK. Thanks I for passing to to the pageant test. Yeah. And good luck. It's tough. <laughs> oh my gosh, BT was so fine. But after what I experienced my first time getting to go to the villa, it takes more than a hot guy. I don't want to go back there unless it's with someone who I am no doubt about. Cute. Do you need to control me? Curl you. <laughs> I don't We're think fine. so. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I'm an author. I'm a romance novelist, so <gasps> yeah. I love rom-coms. Do you? Yeah. Where yeah. are you from? Yeah, I'm from Missouri originally, St. Louis. Me too. What? All my family's from there. Really? Yes. Do you always write romance? One day where you just write and you're like, this is it. Like, no, no, I, I did this photo shoot for wounded veterans, and then I got reached out to by an author who had published some books, and she wanted to write one with me, a military romance. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it was absolutely amazing so nice getting to know you. you. Yeah, you're yeah. awesome. Likewise. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Just wow. Alyssa is absolutely lights out, stunning. She's definitely somebody I want to get to know more. Really good looking guy. Great smile. Tall, dark, handsome. I think he's amazing. But I just didn't feel like a spark. What's the Hummer about? Um, I was in the Army, actually, six and a half years. I was in the Army. Where are you? Yeah. No way. In the Israeli Army. Wow. Yeah. So what do you do to unwind? Um, I work out a lot. Yeah, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm a huge I'm into sports it. person. Yeah, so. I'm the same. Yeah. yeah, I ran track in college. Oh, okay. And I played basketball. So you're school. fast. What did yeah. you run? I was hip athlete. Mmm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ways that I think would be a really cool way to see if we actually do have chemistry is to go for a first kiss. And a kiss is important to me. And I think that if, you know, we don't have a good kiss, then. <laughs> I, then I have my answer right there. So right. not to put so much pressure on you. No. And if you don't want to, no, no. that's totally fine. No. So, answer? You'll get to know that <laughs> soon enough, I guess. Definitely like to take things slow. Don't normally kiss somebody within the first five minutes, but I didn't want her to be offended or seem like she was getting rejected. It's just not usually my style. So what do you do? I have uh, modeled for the past seven years. That is awesome. Yeah, so that brought me to Florida. Oh, where at? Somewhere... Well, I live in Marco Island, so. Wow, that's awesome. I'm yeah. in Tampa, so. Tampa, uh, I work yeah. in Tampa all the time. Yeah. Very cool. It was great to meet you. It was you. great to meet beautiful you, Beautiful smile, too. beautiful Thank eyes. You. Absolutely you too. I gorgeous. like your facial hair and, Thank your, and your tattoos. <laughs> Ashley is definitely my type, uh, really, really beautiful, and I definitely hope Ashley walks to the right. She was stunning, beautiful eyes. I think that all of the girls probably turned right on this one. He's that good. Lisa, I have been crying. 
Why have you because been crying? Because I am 110% sure that if he does not choose me and like we don't end up together, that he was it for me on the island. Like no. that is how she, that is the guy that I feel like I would want. Definitely feeling nervous to see who's at the tiki bar. You, you want people to have walked right, especially the people that you were hoping walked right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Longest walk ever. I can only yes. imagine. <laughs> so this has been crazy. Did anybody expect themselves to be in a situation like this? No. <laughs> Did you? Never, no, not at all. What were some like like would you say top like bucket list things? Like top three bucket list things. I want to jump out of a plane. I've never done it. When I went to the I'm recruiter. Surprised. You're in the army. Well, I went to jump out of a plane. The recruiter lied to me. That's all I wanted. Oh, yeah. No. I'm like, I want to jump out of planes. He's like, oh yeah, you'll get it after basic. I'm like, no, <laughs> you liar. I'm medically retired from the army. I was, you know, wounded. It's a significant part of who I am. And uh, I just want to get to talk to him more about it. I don't know if you all noticed, but I'm missing my leg. No. Really? Uh, I was wounded by a roadside bomb in Iraq. Wow. Yep. I was really surprised. I had no idea. It wasn't like a flinch moment for me. It is so awesome that you are willing to sacrifice yourself like that for our country. Like, I'm, I'm conservative. Like, obviously, I'm going to think that's hot. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Hey, no problem, no problem. No, we no. were focused on your smile. <laughs> yeah. You like his smile. Yep. So, ladies, this is the part where I have to make the <laughs> difficult decision. <sighs> I hate this. I want to thank you all for walking around. You, each and every one of you are absolutely stunning. So much to you, and, and absolutely would love to get each, to know each and every one of you, but I have to pick two. I'm going to first pick Kristen. Thank you. I believe that means you get up. I feel a little giddy. You know, I feel like I've been waiting for this moment. BT could actually be somebody who I connect with. And I just know I want him to pick me. I'm really excited. Like, I'm crying because I'm like, I've never felt this way so fast. Like, I just know. I'm going to first pick Kristen. Thank you. I'm not used to this. I don't know. I don't know the protocol. And Ashley. Hey. Again, ladies, thank you so much. I'm going to miss you. my roommate. Bye. 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 Seeing Alex's reaction sucked, definitely. It was it was really difficult to just stand there. You know, I didn't know her well enough to like hug her, but I wanted to hug her. I don't want to let anyone down or make anyone feel bad. It's just I had to pick two. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I know. Don't worry. Come here. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Bye. 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 Come on, I'm sorry. Is there a napkin? <laughs> I just really thought that this might be it. So, I don't know if there's going to be anybody else that I feel that strongly about so fast. Like, I really felt good about it. And I'm embarrassed that he saw me cry. I was trying so hard not to cry in there. I was, I just thought, like, I thought I knew. Without a doubt, I got the best two women possible. I think they're they're both absolutely amazing. I'm so attracted to both of them. And it's going to be awesome getting to know them better. And I'm just ready for the adventure. Good luck. It feels so good right now. Yeah. So this is my first connection in a while. I feel like I'm just going to trust that the next part of the journey is going to be even more amazing. Over that way, 
I am feeling so good. I'm just ready to get this relationship started. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely, I'm gonna say a little bit better than the bungalows. Being here gets rid of all the other stressors and you're just able to get to know somebody at their core. I've been wanting to just like, I've been craving to even like see a good sunset here. It's gonna be difficult because the whole process, it's just so quick and so fast and you have to make a decision, you know, based off of really not completely knowing someone. But I want it to be who's the right match for me. Is this what heaven feels like? I think so, a piece of it. I am starving. Hello, lady. Hello. I sat at the head of the table, but I feel like you should sit at the head of the table. Good. The fact that BT can come down with a pair of shorts on and for us to see his prosthetic leg for the first time, like, I admire that. His presence is so strong that I don't feel like that's where my attention goes. What inspired you to want to go into the army? A lot of different things, actually. Uh, my dad was in, my grandfather, he was a colonel in the army. And then 9-11 and all that, you know, it's just kind of a culmination of things, yeah. but best thing I ever did. Me missing my leg and having been in the Army and wounded in combat, that's a big part of my life and something that, you know, a possible significant other needs to be aware of and not only aware of, but comfortable with. Now, I had a really tough transition when I, I lost my leg in, in Iraq to a roadside bomb and I just went through hell. My buddy died. My buddy actually, like, he saved he saved all of our lives, you know. It, it went through him, it killed him. It took me a while, you know. I've done a, I've quite a bit of motivational speeches. You know, afterwards, just having people come up to me, I think that's what it's all about, when you can change, like, one life. Exactly. I think he is amazing. Not only did he go through that, he went through that and he came out stronger. What about you guys? What are you doing? But I just speak at some schools, helping, like, young girls eating disorders, and I've seen a lot of that just in the modeling industry. There's some big issues out there that they just need good role models and... I didn't have a lot of role models when I was young, you know, and I think uh, back, like, if I could have somebody like me come and, and just say, you know, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, they're so impressionable. Five years from now. You know, for me, I think it's important to go out and explore, to not allow society's ideals to confine you. I 100% agree. When I first met Kristen and Ashley, I had absolutely no idea that they would be so different. I'm just attracted to them both equally for qualities that I like and admire and respect. It's such a complicated situation. There's definitely like this like inner turmoil. When I come to that time where I have to decide, it's gonna be really difficult. I got a text from Terrence. Couples, today you gotta go for a horseback ride in the surf on one of Anguilla's most famous beaches. Yes. I'm super excited to get out of the house and be on a horse riding in this beautiful ocean with a guy I have a super crush on. It's kinda romantic. Like, I, I wanna go. Like, I wanna get a full experience. It feels good not to be a trio anymore. We've already kind of moved in and, you know, share space, and now we are going on our first date, and I'm excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So pretty. Hi, horsey. You're the best rider, yeah? <laughs> okay. I'll be that. I'll be that guy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Like, I'm yeah, you gotta yeah, get the butt. Like, get the okay, come on. <laughs> okay, teamwork. That's called bareback. Bear. <laughs> I'm super excited about my first official date with Dominique, but I've never been on a horse. I think I might have ridden a pony once. You know? 
just yeah. gonna yeah, pull I'm me by to, my wrist. Well, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to figure out how to get to my family. Come on, you got it. This is not going well. Amari and Dominique are still feeling each other out. One, two, three. Up. There's a little bit of distance between them. <laughs> my legs are you. way too long for this. But then I do see moments where they look super cute, happy, and they're having fun. Get it up. Go. Oh. Grab, hold on to me, because I'm gripping onto the thing, too. No, hold, hold, you're not holding. Squeeze, thank you. Like, I want I want to feel that you're secure. Giving up control for me is a little bit hard, but I feel like it's a must when you're dating. I'll go with you if you want me to. I'll follow your steps till we find it. Go horse and the text, the text and the horse. Hey. <laughs> Lindsay and Alex are going horseback riding on the beach. Oh! oh, oh Anguilla, 2016, the Anguilla Gorillas. Oh! oh I want to do that. How many times have you guys been on a horse? Uh, and y'all know black people don't ride no damn horses. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Can't speak for everybody. Do you ride horses on the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't. I have my moments where I definitely get annoyed. I'm just trying to figure out, are you joking? Are you serious? Like, I'm not really a jokester. I don't, that's, that's not really my personality, but I love that, like, light side of him. What do you wish you could change about yourself? I'm, well, I guess super indecisive. Yeah. I wish that I could just, like, know exactly what I want and just say it. Like, even something like, where do you want to eat tonight? I really don't care. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's what I got to look forward to. Hey, babe, where you want to go? <laughs> Whatever you want. Alex and Lindsay and Fit. They are two really good puzzle pieces together. And that connection is definitely what I want to find here. <laughs> I'm just like, like emotionally like exhausted. Right. I just was bummed out about BT. Obviously, like I, w I was on a roller coaster of emotions yesterday, and that takes a lot out of you emotionally. Like I was emotionally drained. Kristen goes, "Hey, darling, how are you ladies doing? Death missing you all. Though everything feels so surreal, it really is beautiful here. Words can't." Right. Okay, that first of all doesn't include anything about me. And second of all, I'm her roommate. Shouldn't she have texted me something like I that agree. before I you? Agree. Kristen has not even texted me while she's been over there and said, how are you doing? Kristen knew how in into BT I was. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess we're not as close as I thought we were. BT has so many qualities that I look for. And I like him a lot. There's something I really need to tell him. I just hope that it doesn't affect his decision tonight. You know, I'm really, I'm happy to be here. Like, I feel that there is a possibility, you know, of, of it really working out. So one of the things that I wanted to let you know before you make your decision is it's a big part of my life and who I am. Uh, I feel like I just want to be upfront with you about um, is um, I don't know how, really how to go about it, but I need to get this off my chest and then leave the decision up to him. One of the things that I wanted to let you know before you make your decision is it's a big part of my life and who I am uh, is I am a virgin and I am saving myself for marriage. I thought honestly she was going to say she had a kid, but 
It's kind of funny that it was the exact opposite. I just want to let you know that. I respect, and admire, and understand that completely. Thank you. I'm extremely impressed that Ashley was able to come out and tell me that. It's so admirable and just a really beautiful thing, and I respect her a lot for it. But the physical aspect of a relationship is important to me, so it's a huge thing to think about. Hey, you. Hi, how are you? Would you guys mind joining me? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Have a seat. Good to see you, man. Good, good to see you. Come on. Grab a seat, guys. Grab okay. a seat. I'll let you in. You enjoying paradise? How can you not, man? Look at that. I mean, get, perfect get any view. more perfect, right? Are you ready to, to stop dating and get coupled up and be there? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Definitely. All right, BT, let's go. We're going to take some boy time, sure. all right? You two chat. Don't, sure. don't get too crazy. <laughs> we'll be right back, all right? All right, guys. Come on, B. Man, this view. Ah, never gets old. It's crazy, man. Never gets old. It's been unbelievable. Anything you want to tell me before you make your decision? Um, Kristen is vibrant, full of life. You know, it's it's just such an attractive thing when somebody can go anywhere and have a great time. Just really admire her as a person. And then uh, Ashley, what do you think? Ashley's a sweetheart. She was a little quiet the first day, but man, as as I got to know her, she loosened up. She. Uh, you know, she's just such a caring, nurturing, amazing woman. Um, you, you can tell she's got just a, a huge heart. Well, this is going to be all on you, all right? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. After that, you got to go down and you got to let one of them know they have to go back to the bungalows and let the other one know that you want to get coupled up. All, all right. right? All right, I'll see you in a few. Sounds good, I'm Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. Yep. I'm feeling very confused. I'm just attracted to them both equally for their own differing qualities. The adult wanting to be a father and a husband is thinking Ashley all the way. She's an amazing woman. Then kind of the adventurous side of me is, is more leaning towards Kristen because she's exciting and full of life. It's like my younger me battling my older me. And so I'm absolutely torn. Next time on Couple, BT makes his decision. At the end of the day, I've got to make a choice. Oh my God, it's here! Another guy arrives. Oh, he's hot. He's sexy. <laughs> Hi. Say hello. I thought he was cute. I thought he was sexy. I thought he was cool. I think we're going to make out at some point tonight. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the couples, <laughs> this is the life. You can't have bad energy when you're going on an excursion like this. Not everything is paradise at the villas. <gasps> My heart is open to love. I've tried and you didn't, but it's not open to You texted wow, Alicia and said that you should have picked her. <laughs> Yesterday, emotions were high. So just to, you know, get out on the beach and swim in the ocean and just to act silly with the girls is exactly what I think we all needed. Ready? One, two, three. Right now, I have an enormous choice. I feel a little overwhelmed. I've dated women like Alicia my entire life but I felt like Dom has so much to offer on a substance level, and you don't want to be in a place with someone and it's not a good fit because you're going to invest that time with them. You want it to be right. Hey. hey. So how y'all feeling? Are y'all nervous? Are y'all anxious? It's a hard choice. Alicia, I like everything about you. You are beautiful. You have a great smile extremely bubbly. I like that. It's a lot of energy. It's great to be around people who are vibrant. And uh, Dom, I think you are intelligent. I think you are beautiful. I think you are endearing. You know what you want out of life, and you are going to prepare yourself to get there in any way, shape, or form. And for me, that is extremely important to have in a counterpart. So. That's why I would like to invite you uh, to the next phase of this adventure. I'm so excited. 
after you. Thank you. Uh, I hope that, you know, we can build off of the momentum that we had going today. I'm excited to see what tomorrow holds. This is cute. Looking good. So, we might have new roommates. Are we ready to share? <laughs> hey. Oh, oh! Oh! oh my god! The couple's villa is definitely different. Like, we were actually, like, moving in. Now we get to that point where it's, like, time to build, like, a foundation and really see, like, if there really is anything there. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Welcome. Congratulations. Yeah. I hope my feeling is like kind of the same as your feeling, but not. Uh... <laughs> Round three. Third time's the charm. After my experience of going to the villa, I have to admit I'm really nervous today, but maybe today's my day. It's exciting. They will be interesting. I don't know how I feel right now. You know, yesterday I felt. Oh! <laughs> I'm definitely shocked. You know, I thought Amari and I had a connection. Bye. Bye. Nice lady. Text us. I'm still trying to like play back what just happened in my head. It's like I won a pageant and I wasn't expecting to win. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a gorgeous piece of man. He's dark hair, great smile, good personality. He has everything any woman would want. I feel like we're off to our honeymoon, the three of us. <laughs> May the best woman win. Are you OK? I was surprised. I just felt like it was a big connection, you know? I was just really surprised by it, though. Our conversation was like, bam, right away. And you start to second guess yourself. Second guess yourself. Like, what is it about me that I didn't have that? Because, yeah. you know, I thought, you know, like. Yeah. I'm so emotional right now because it's kind of like I put myself out there again and I got hurt. I was so sure to walk right. And it's like, Talia, don't let that guard down too fast. Like, what did I do wrong? Is he not physically attracted to me? What is it about me that's not, like, appealing to others? Just remind yourself to trust that everything happens for a reason, right? I just want someone to love me unconditionally. I've always dreamed about it since I was a little girl. Like, what does that feel like? Like, looking at my parents, like, I want that. You're going to be fine. You're going to be good. <laughs> You're going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters. Sisters. This place is dope already, you can tell. Oh, wow. So Oh, oh my God. <laughs> if you can't figure out how to fall in love here, I don't know. It's like paradise. Cheers, Cheers. you guys. We are so blessed. Nice, nice. Thanks for choosing us. <laughs>I want to eat. Oh, yeah. I'm starving. Well, welcome to our first meal at Thank the you. Villas. I'm excited to have dinner with the girls. I want to get to know them a lot more on a personal level because I don't have a lot of time for me to make a valid decision on who I should choose. In Washington, we have like an entire like wine country, mm -hmm. like about an hour like from where I live. Let's do a toast. Toast to what? To new beginnings, to new friendships. It's love. It's sweet. It's interesting to be on a date with another woman and a guy. We are here to find a man, and we need to be a little selfish. Wine's expensive. I know it's like a really fancy thing to do to pair it with certain fish, but I'm not about it. I'm like, get me a root beer, some pizza, we're good. Alicia is a pageant girl, but it is harder to compete for a man than it is a crown. I'm gonna try to eat all proper, like, start on the outside, bring fork on the outside, work your way in. That's how you do it. 
my personality, I'm very outgoing, I, I'm talkative, and she's kind of my opposite. She's boring. So what's your mom's specialty? She makes really good potato salad. Mm. What about your parents? Any signature dishes? Oh, of course, my dad, every Saturday morning. He would make me blueberry pancakes. Like Dad makes the best salsa. He's famous for his salsa at work. I honestly could jump up and scream. So it's like an average day for you when you're at home. Wait, where in LA did you say you live again? Westwood. Alicia has shown a different side of herself tonight. Not for me to judge, just to take note. Mm. Alicia and Dom are like, pretty opposite. Dominique is not a very extroverted person, so I really do feel like I know her a lot more better than you well, guys. I, I'm, yeah. I really want to know, like, you walked right. Yeah, but, but I... But why did you walk right? I walked right for Dominique because I kind of wanted to be her wingman. In the initial meeting when I met Omari, I knew that's it, that's the guy for Dominique. So I walked right at a support for Dominique. I'm like so confused about this, you walked right for Dominique. I'm like, I really? Get I get I'm, it, like, I get really it. And I actually it. You really can be confused smart. about it, and guys, I don't need to justify myself yeah, to you, no, but I get it. the thing is, I, I know what I did for real in my heart, and it was, it was, it was just to support a friend. How is that supportive? You're taking away another chance for one of the girls who are genuinely interested in Amari. Like, I just, I don't get it. It's not real. I just don't think it's genuine. You're going yes for yourself, not for anyone else. Lisa, you don't want to start something with me because I'm the realest person you've ever met. Okay. okay? No, I, I don't feel yeah. it, but we can disagree on that too. We could. Bye. Lisa and Michelle hate each other now. So there's that. Don't think it's real. Well, I completely understand where Michelle is coming from. It's two women being supportive of each other to find love. And it's hard enough in this world to make new female friends and connect with women. I don't need to justify myself no, to her. No, you don't. But the fact that she's kind of bringing it up, that I'm not real, is just like a I don't bitchy know move. Her. I'm not the kind of person that holds grudges. So if she did want to show me in some way that she is more of a genuine person, but right now I feel like everything is kind of fake with her right now. I hate yeah. when people call me a liar, because the one thing I'm not is a liar. And the one thing I am is super direct and honest about everything. I don't know why. I don't know why this happens to me with the girls. I have no idea. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just too defensive. I don't know. Some people need to think before they talk, and that's why I walked away. I don't want to get into that girl drama. If I'm late, am I getting told? Like, I just really hope that this really works for somebody in the end, and more people than just one couple. I wonder what it's going to be like with guys. Like, I have no idea how many guys there will be. I imagine it's going to be roughly the same number of girls, at least. Yeah, who's to say, like, everyone that meets will actually connect and be a couple? Yeah, how does that happen? These questions and more after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and I are doing great. He's such an amazing guy, and I'm so pleasantly surprised with the progress that we've made as a couple. It's rad. <laughs> oh, we have people out there. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? How you doing, man? Alex. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, buddy. You guys have fun? Oh, my gosh. We've had Where the craziest time. Right. Oh, this is our, uh, this is our yeah, bed. Welcome to our oh, palette. Yeah. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, we're up there at the Jay-Z Beyonce suite. Oh my gosh, it's right next door. Yeah. Hey, like, you guys have bro hurt. time? Uh, we're gonna, have we're fun. gonna have go. Fun. <laughs> Sit on these chairs or something. Yeah. Take a second to let it all sink in. Right. And with your two ladies, it seems like it might be a tough one. Well, it's a little night and day with them, man. Yeah. So I just gotta figure, yeah, I mean, figure it you out. Know, I think I think you'll be cool. Just just really just really get down to the bottom of it. Dating two women is great. Obviously, you can't live that way. So I'll have to trim it down to one. Both of them right now have great qualities. I think it's a neck and neck race. Girls, <gasps> tell me about the day yesterday. Like what happened? I don't know. It's like instant like butterflies and that chemistry. So now that you've had a little bit more time with him here. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? He has everything. He's funny, he's smart, he has a good job. He's perfect. I'm, look at him, he's a chiseled, yeah. beautiful piece of man. Like, he's come good. on. Yeah, it's been nice getting to know him a little bit more. Yes, uh, yes <laughs> because I'm kind of looking for a serious relationship. For sure. 
I know you're like blushing. Yes! I see it. See, see, now it's the sun. I'm hot. <laughs> if Amari picks me, it's like, bam, I will like be over the moon. But I'm nervous because he seems amazing and I feel like Alicia knows how awesome he is. He's so freaking cute. Like I could look at him all day. He's well, so he sweet. Say, I didn't come here to have fun or to make friends. I left my family and friends behind to come to Anguilla with hopes of finding someone that I'd love to date seriously and potentially lead into marriage. Good, Good to, to see, see you guys. guys. Great to see you guys. He's definitely having a tough time Is deciding. He? Yeah, he's having a tough time. Aww. Hey. Hold on. I'm not feeling too hot today. I don't know, I'm having some kind of reaction to the island. <laughs> I had a confrontation with Lisa. So today I've been taking more time apart from the girls. I need a minute for myself. You're heading to the beach? Heck We're yeah, getting <laughs> off the island. Lonely island. Michelle can think anything she wants about me. I don't care. I came here to find love. And Michelle is not my priority. Last time on Couple. Meeting someone special in today's world, it's not easy. We make split-second decisions about love based on photos and a flick of the wrist. Welcome to Anguilla! <laughs> Twelve beautiful and accomplished women came to paradise looking for the perfect man. Right off the bat, the first of many helicopters bringing single guys looking for love arrived. This is the most amazing way to have men literally brought to you. But I'm a streamer. Alex. Hello, hello. So cool. I haven't met someone that is great enough to make me someone better. Ah, I'm like blushing. <laughs> the women decide if he's worth their time. If they felt chemistry, they walked right. But if there was no spark, they walked left to wait for the next helicopter. Alex chose two interested women to take to the luxury villas where they tested their compatibility. Because he had to choose one woman to stay and one to send back. Lindsay, I'd like to see if you would want to come with me to the couple's villa. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> Alex and Lindsay stayed at the villas to see if their initial spark would turn into something more real, leaving Brittany to go back to the bungalows and wait for the next guy. It's right there. Whose man is on that helicopter? Amari, welcome to Anguilla. I love a woman who holds me accountable. Somebody that's going to say, hey, get it together. Hi. Hi. Hey. Amari. Talia. I am shaking like crazy. We had that instant connection. Without further ado. Amari, Talia. That just sounds like a good vibe to me. I would like to select. <sighs> Tonight, Amari picks two women to take to the villas. And another man is choppered in. He's a total hero. <gasps> How's everybody doing? Great. Good. Good. So obviously uh, coming here today has been a great experience meeting each and every one of you. All of you are extremely beautiful, intelligent. I want to base this decision strictly off of initial chemistry. So uh, without further ado. I would like to select. Alicia. Me? Oh. <laughs> the butterflies and you're goofy and can't stop smiling. This is what I was waiting for. Um, so.